हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम इथिकल हैकिंग टीचर सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइस आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रूट डॉट इन सो गाइस टुडे इट्स ऑल अबाउट ए मेजर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑन ईमेल सर्वर सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट और हाउ टू कन्फिगर योर ओन मेल सर्वर फॉर योर ओन कंपनी Suppose you have thousands of computers, you have thousand of employees in your company, and you want to set up your own mail server for your company. You can do that. Okay. So here I am taking a Linux machine for configuring this mail server. Now let's understand the infrastructure of your mail server. So you can see both end. You can see two computers, two PCs, and that is known as MUA, Mail User Agent. the person who sends mail or who receives mail is known as mail user agent okay so you can see at the both ends two computers they are sending one is sending the left hand side the person is sending mail and the right hand side the uh, system is receiving the mail now between this two mail server two users you can see there are uh, six stages six stages so in six stages you can learn the process you can learn the set up of your mail server so suppose here here i am assuming suppose you have a two domain like yahoo.com and gmail.com then these are mta server mta means mail transfer agent so suppose you are sending mail to uh, a user who is in yahoo.com then first of all your mail goes to gmail.com mta server okay your mail server then your dns records check that uh, you want to send mails to who home if you want to send mail to a user who is in another domain so it will check here and it find that okay you are sending mail to a user who is in yahoo.com so the request goes from dns records to yahoo.com then mda mail delivery agent like procmail this will take uh, receive the mail and deliver it to the database of the uh, receiver end so database folder is mail server database folder is where a spool mail so this is the folder this is the place where the all the mail will be saved and from there the mail access agent like imap or pop3 they will retrieve the mail and send it to the receiver end now for hindi users hindi walon ke liye ye video hai ये लाइन एक्स के ऊपर मेजर प्रोजेक्ट है अगर आपके कॉलेज में मेजर प्रोजेक्ट है कोई तो आप इसको दे सकते हो ये प्रोजेक्ट का नाम है ईमेल सर्वर हाउ टू क्रिएट हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर योर ओन मेल सर्वर नाउ आप समझ सकते हो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस मेल सर्वर हाउ ए मेल सर्वर वर्क्स सो यू कैन देख सकते हो आप लोग की यहाँ पे दो कंप्यूटर है एक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एक राइट हैंड साइड बोथ आर एम यू एम यू मीन्स मेल यूजर एजेंट जो मेल को सेंड करता है या जो मेल को रिसीव करता है उसको मेल यूजर एजेंट बोलते हैं तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में सेंडर है राइट हैंड साइड में रिसीवर है सेंडर आपको मेल सेंड करता है सपोज आपकी ईमेल आईडी जीमेल में है और आप किसी याहू वाले को मेल सेंड करते हो तो सबसे पहले आपका जाएगा जीमेल डॉट कॉम में यानी आप जिस डोमेन में हो वहां पर जाएगा उसको बोलते हैं मेल ट्रांसफर एजेंट वो ट्रांसफर करेगा डीएनएस रिकॉर्ड्स में वो चेक करेगा कि जिसको सेंड करना वो किस में है अगर वो सेम जीमेल में है तो डायरेक्ट एमडीए पर चला जाएगा अगर वो जीमेल का नहीं वो याहू का है रिसीवर तो उसको याहू डॉट कॉम में जाएगा पहले फिर याहू डॉट कॉम से होते हुए वो एम में जाएगा यानी मेल डिलीवरी एजेंट में जाएगा जो कि प्रोक मेल होगा वहां से जाएगा डेटाबेस में जो कि वेरियस फुल मेल वहां से मेल एस एजेंट वहां से रिसीवर पे रिसीव हो जाएगा रिट्रीव हो जाएगा रिट्रीव रिट्रीव करने में कौन मदद करता है एम ए ए मेल एस एस एजेंट जिसको हम लोग बोलते हैं आई मैप ऑफ थ्री सर्वर जिसके लिए हम लोग कंफिगर करते हैं ओके सो दिस इज द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लैब नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस लैब फॉर पेनेटेशन टेस्टिंग बिकॉज इन द अपकमिंग लैब आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस काली लि नेक्स टू टेस्ट वेदर दिस मेल सर्वर इज वनरेबल और नॉट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक द मेल सर्वर वनरेबिलिटी and if you want to create a network security project or server security project on mail finding a mail server vulnerability or testing the sustainability of a mail server you can use this lab this so this will be the primary lab if you have no mail server you can't do the uh, next step okay so first of all you have to complete this lab if you want to complete the next step so that this will be the mail server configuration lab and after that you are going to learn mail server penetration testing okay so let's start the lab
So here I am going to configure a mail server and for this lab I am going to configure mail server using send mail. Okay. You can also configure mail server using a postfix. You can also use postfix mail server or you can use exim. In the upcoming classes, I will also show you the how you can configure or how you can replace the send mail with postfix mail server or exim mail server. But right now in this lab, we are going to use send mail. Send mail as a MTA mail transfer agent. And for mail access agent, we are going to use IMAP and POP3 server. IMAP and POP3. Okay. We are going to use IMAP and POP3 server for as a mail access agent. Okay. And who will be our mail delivery agent? Proc mail. Proc mail. So Proc mail is our mail delivery agent, MDA, which we call MDA. And MTA is send mail. So send mail could be MTA, postfix could be MTA, all the exim could be MTA. So MTA ये तीनों में से कोई भी हो सकता है, यानी mail transfer agent कोई भी हो सकता है. Send mail it could be send mail, it could be postfix, it could be exim. Okay. But in this lab we are going to configure the mail server using the send mail. So take the Linux machine, go to the Linux machine directly. So this is our Linux machine. And let's check the IP address of this machine. 192.168.29.24 So let, let me assume So I am going to configure mail server on this machine So let me first confirm the IP address again 24, 24. So let me assume that Okay Gmail We are going to assume this machine as a Server 192.168.29.24 Okay So this is our this will be our server. So I am going to configure mail server on this machine. Let's see how to configure. The first step, install the package. Install all the required package. So I am going to install yum install. First of all, the mail transfer agent. That is send mail. MTA. So send mail store. Okay. Then the mail delivery agent. That is proc mail. So proc mail store. Then the mail sending mail sending tool, okay, MUT. MUT is a command line tool used to send the mail. M4, M4 is compiler. So we use mail compiler. Make is also compiler. So we will use make and that's all. Install all this together. You can install this step by step also, one by one also, okay. I am going to install all this together. Just press enter. Okay, and this command will install all this package which is required. Now all this package has been installed. Clear this screen. Flush the firewall because I don't want to mess with the firewall. Disable the AC Linux. Set in force zero. Okay. Don't want to mess with them. Now package has been installed. Now go to the mail directory that is etc mail. So this is the folder for our email server. Okay. Now you go inside this you will find the mail configuration file inside this file now you can see sendmail.mc and sendmail.cf there are two files here sendmail.mc and sendmail.cf but out of these two we are going to configure sendmail.mc because sendmail.cf is a binary file so we can't configure it okay we can only configure sendmail.mc and then we will update by compiling so let's go to the Vim sendmail.mc. Okay. Now set the line number, use shift colon set number here. Okay. And you can see, and then go to the line number 116. Extra 116. Okay. So you can see line number 116, that is daemon options, port SMTP. So you can see this line. So what you have to do, you have to just comment out this line how to comment out just press insert go to insert mode type d n l space has and that's all this line has been comment out because by default this server is made to just communicate with the local host ip like 127.0.0.1 i want this one to communicate with my whole network so i just comment out this line and then save this file w q okay now after making change in this file we need to 
update the sendmail.cf file also because we have two configuration file. So how to update by using m4 compiler? m4 sendmail.mc space and then you can use this one sendmail.cf and that's all. It means we have updated sendmail.mc file and now the update has been sent to sendmail.cf also. Okay, so the sendmail.cf and sendmail.mc both file has been updated. One file is updated by me mc file and another .cf file has been updated by the compiler m4. Now you need to restart the service. Service sendmail restart. Okay, so we have successfully configured MTA mail transfer agent. Now we need to configure mail access agent and that is you know that is imap and pop3 and for that you need to install the package job code so i am going to configure imap and pop3 server now just come out of this folder so yum install job code the package for this one is this one okay hyphen y package installed after installing the package Go to the configuration file. What is the configuration file? Vim etc .com. Very simple. Go to the configuration file. Now set the line number using set number. Sorry, set. Okay. And now you have to go to the line number. I don't remember the line number. So you just find the line number where written protocol. So you can see it's line number 20. Okay. Okay. I go to the line, line number 20. So go to the line number 20, go to the insert mode, remove the comment. Okay, now you can see protocols and then you can see IMAP, IMAP S, POP3 S. So just remove the POP3 S and IMAP S because we don't have SSL support right now. We have only IMAP and POP3. So protocols is equal to IMAP and POP3 and then save it, WQ. That's all. And now you have to restart the service. So that is service drop code restart now i want web interface for this server so i am going to create a install a web server so yum install httpd okay package installed and i also want php support so yum install php Now I want to give it a look of a like Gmail. Okay, for that one I need a software yum install SQL mail. Yum install SQL mail hyphen y. And that's all. Now restart all the service again. Service httpd restart service send mail. Restart, restart all the services. Service, dove code, restart. Okay, so restart all these three services. HTTP for web server, send mail. For mail server, dove code, dove code for mail access. Okay, mail access agent. Now we have all these three servers and ready. So our web mail, mail server is ready. So you can name it web based mailing services also. You can give it a name web based mailing services now let's go to the uh, terminal and add to user for demonstration like user add suppose user add usa and user add dubai now you can add the password for both users so passwd for usa is washington Washington, sorry, A spelling mistake. Washington, Washington, okay. And now update the password for Dubai. So, password for Dubai is um, suppose Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. 
okay so then successfully so we have two user dubai and usa now we can test whether they are working or not so just open a browser and here i will type the ip address of mail server that is 192.168.29.24 i think let me check yes 24 slash webmail slash webmail press enter okay now you can see we are able to log in it's asking the username and password so here i am typing the username dubai password abu dhabi okay and i am logging here okay now if you can see this is the uh, this is the login panel from here i can compose mail go to compose i am typing uh, sending mail to usa okay subject hi just testing email okay right here how's everything how's everything in afghanistan okay send this one and you can click on send and it has been sent okay you can go to send option and check you can see it has been sent to usa now you can go to another browser let's open this browser okay and here i am typing 192.168.29.24 slash webmail so this is our main server panel here i am logging this time with usa user usa and password washington enter and you can see here i have a mail from dubai user hi just testing email just click on mail here and you will see how is everything in afghanistan so you can see the mail here okay and you can see this in this way mail server is working you can see in the inbox there is only one mail okay so you can see the mail you can send mail you can receive mail now all the users are on the same machine i have tested this for one domain you can do this for multiple domain if you have router you can also include router in this project now further on i am going to test that's whether this password username and password is vulnerable for mail server or not is this possible to attack this mail server with the help of kali linux or not so in the next upcoming project i will show you how to penetration testing okay how to attempt hack do the hack attempt on the mail server whether mail servers are vulnerable or not whether it is possible to do the brute force attack on the mail server or not you can add this kind of stuffs also to your project so if you are a, a mca guy bca guy btech guys engineering guys you can do this project by yourself just watching the videos okay and if you are guys new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then you will not be able to get all the video notification and it might be miss the important videos and if you guys have any doubt just just ask me okay and yes one more thing you guys have uh, don't try to right now if you have some doubts please try to try to write all your doubts in a single comment i don't want to know multiple comments from a single guy because now i see that only one people is asking the questions in comment section so if whatever question you have just collect your question and collectively put it so that i can answer all your questions at a time okay thank you thank you for your time